Welcome to the Scottish Rite Journal podcast, an audio presentation of the Scottish Rite Journal, brought to you by the Supreme Council of the Scottish Rite, Southern Jurisdiction, Mother Supreme Council of the World. This week's article is The Scottish Rite and the Prince Hall Affiliation by Brother Arturo de Hoyas, 33rd degree, Grand Cross, Knight York Cross of Honor, and comes from the September-October 2024 issue of the Scottish Rite Journal. James Anderson's The Constitutions of the Freemasons explains that Masonry becomes the center of the Union and the means of conciliating true friendship among persons that must have otherwise remained at a perpetual distance. This is a remarkable statement that deserves to be carefully evaluated. It states that Freemasonry can transcend barriers, whether artificial or real, which divide mankind with the goal of creating bonds based upon the guiding principles of friendship, morality, brotherly love, relief, and truth. On September 7, 2022, the Sovereign Grand Commanders of the Southern Jurisdiction, Northern Masonic Jurisdiction, Prince Hall Affiliation Southern Jurisdiction, and Prince Hall Affiliation Northern Jurisdiction came together for the first time for the purpose of signing a Statement of Unity. The signing of this document affirmed that there were, and only could be, four legitimate Supreme Councils of the Scottish Rite in the United States of America. Further, the Act celebrated and realized Anderson's statement by affirming itself as the center of the Union of which our forefathers spoke. If you're a Master Mason, check out the Master Craftsman Online College, the premier education platform from the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, Southern Jurisdiction. From Craft Lodge to Scottish Rite Philosophy, visit www.mastercraftsmancollege.org for complete info and use promo code SRJ2024. That's SRJ2024 for 20% off any course. Of course, this did not happen in a vacuum, but rather was the result of many years of fraternal bridge building among the various Supreme Councils. It was preceded by Grand Commander C. Fred Kleinkanek's presentation in April 2001 of the revised Standard Pike Ritual to representatives of the Prince Hall Affiliation Scottish Rite Bodies at a special gathering in the House of the Temple. This act echoed a similar occurrence of some 120 years earlier, when Albert Pike presented the Southern Jurisdiction's rituals to his friend Thornton A. Jackson, who was the Grand Commander of the United Supreme Council 33rd Degree, Southern Jurisdiction, Prince Hall Affiliation. Beyond this lies the question, when did the Prince Hall Affiliation first receive the Scottish Rite degrees? The story of Prince Hall Freemasonry is perhaps well enough known that only brief details need to be mentioned. In 1775, Prince Hall and 14 other free black men were initiated in Boston by members of a British regiment belonging to Lodge No. 441 Grand Lodge of Ireland. At the evacuation of British forces in 1776, African Lodge No. 1 was organized, with Prince Hall as worshipful master. In 1784, the Lodge received a charter from the Premier Grand Lodge of England, and Hall later chartered other lodges. Following the Union, which created the United Grand Lodge of England, In 1813, African Lodge, like some other lodges, was struck from the records, but it was unable to obtain a charter elsewhere. It then declared itself an independent Grand Lodge, the African Grand Lodge of Massachusetts, and enjoyed its rights and privileges as such. Prince Hall Masonry's connection to the Scottish Rite traces to the Rite's earliest history. On February 1, 1802, the Supreme Council at Charleston appointed Alexandra Francois Auguste de Grastilly to be Grand Commander of the Supreme Council in the French West India Islands. Fourteen years later, on August 16, 1816, de Grastilly created the Yaquin Rune de Saint Laurent as Grand Commander of the Supreme Council for the Spanish possession of the continent of South America and the Gulf of Mexico. Although this little known Supreme Council had a meager existence, Count St. Laurent's influence would be wide-reaching. In 1822, he received an honorary membership from the Supreme Council of France. 
We know from St. Laurent's Golden Book that in 1832 he traveled to the United States and signed a Treaty of Union with the Elias Hicks Cerno Supreme Council. This formed the United Supreme Council for the Western Hemisphere. Although St. Laurent was a Scottish Rite Mason and a legitimate sovereign Grand Master, this joined him with the Cerno Scottish Rite, which was not recognized as authentic. This aside, we can thank St. Laurent for the so-called Latin Constitutions of 1786, as well as for the Grand Decoration of the 33rd Degree, both of which are used today. Oral traditions assert that about in 1820, a body called the African Grand Council was created in Philadelphia by black Masons who had immigrated in the West Indies. If they were practicing the Hot Gratis, they would have belonged to the 25th degree, Order of the Royal Secret, which was the antecedent of the Scottish Rite. The Prince Hall Scottish Rite's first direct ancestor, however, was the King David Supreme Council of Philadelphia, whose records date from December 1854. Harry E. Davis's A History of Freemasonry Among Negroes in America reproduces this earliest record and also relates that around 1850, St. Laurent, sometimes called Dr. St. Laren, conferred the 33rd degree on Brother David Leary and other Masons of Color of Philadelphia. The records of that Supreme Council reveal the methodical and organized manner in which they proceeded. They further indicate that illustrious Leary was made a deputy of the Supreme Council of France. The earlier African Grand Council then passed under the authority of the King David Supreme Council. A lack of records prevents us from knowing the precise details about how the two Supreme Councils of the Prince Hall affiliation came to be, but existing records and circumstantial evidence present a plausible account, which are presented by illustrious Joseph A. Walks, Jr., 33rd degree, in his book, History of the United States Supreme Council, Ancient and Accepted Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, Prince Hall Affiliation, Northern Jurisdiction, USA Incorporated. Tradition maintains that in 1864, Baron Augusta Hugo Debulo, an Inspector General of the Supreme Council of France, also created a Supreme Council of the United States in New York. Splits and factions resulted in other Supreme Councils until there were five. Happily, the five, seeking peace and harmony, created Articles of Union, and, in New York, on January 13, 1881, two Prince Hall Affiliation Supreme Councils were formed, a Northern Jurisdiction and a Southern Jurisdiction. On January 16, 1945, Willard W. Allen, 33rd Degree, Sovereign Grand Commander of the United Supreme Council, 33rd Degree, Southern Jurisdiction, Prince Hall wrote to George W. Crawford, 33rd Degree, Lieutenant Grand Commander of the Supreme Council, 33rd Degree, Northern Jurisdiction, Prince Hall, about the great help Albert Pike offered to the Prince Hall affiliation. Among other things, he noted, Illustrious Thornton A. Jackson was Sovereign Grand Commander of our jurisdiction from September 14, 1887, until his death on October 18, 1904. Much of this time, he was engaged in business in the city of Washington and came to know General Albert Pike intimately and was his personal friend. He frequently went to General Pike with his Masonic problems. On one occasion, he mentioned to General Pike how seriously handicapped his organization were for lack of adequate rituals. Thereupon, General Pike gave him a complete set of Scottish Rite rituals. That illustrious Thornton Jackson did in fact receive the rituals in question from General Pike would have been so well vouched for by the credible contemporaries of illustrious Jackson that there can be no reasonable doubt about the matter. Whether they were the same rituals being used in that day by General Pike's own organization probably cannot be proven, but that too has generally been assumed to be so. The important fact, however, is that Pike did give Jackson a complete set of Scottish Rite rituals. Incidentally, it is not necessary to remind you of what practically all Masonic scholars know very well, that in the closing years of General Pike's Masonic career, he became a very staunch friend of Negro Masonry.
Further evidence of Pike's fraternal regard is preserved in a letter Pike wrote on May 3, 1889. Address to Brother Thornton A. Jackson, Grand Commander. Pike answered some questions about the re-established Supreme Council of Louisiana, which Pike deemed irregular. Notably, as a mark of brotherly esteem, Pike addressed and recognized Brother Jackson as Grand Commander and concluded the letter with, Fraternally yours, Albert Pike, 33rd Degree, Grand Commander. Notably, the rituals printed by Thornton A. Jackson for his Supreme Council also include a lecture on the tracing board, or symbolic camp, and the Constitution and Inauguration Ceremonies, taken from Albert Pike's Readings 32 and his Offices of Constitution and Inauguration of a Consistory of the 32nd Degree. Although Supreme Councils revise and update their rituals whenever it is deemed necessary, it is a remarkable fact that the rituals of the Supreme Council, 33rd Degree, Southern Jurisdiction, and those of the Prince Hall Supreme Councils have stayed quite true to the traditions of the Scottish Rite. In fact, our rituals often have much more in common with each other than they do with the Supreme Council, 33rd Degree, Northern Masonic Jurisdiction. The Supreme Council, 33rd Degree, Northern Masonic Jurisdiction, also enjoyed a cooperative relationship with its Prince Hall affiliation counterpart. The long history can be found in other publications, but it is interesting to note that by October 1945, relations between the United Supreme Council, 33rd Degree, Prince Hall, Northern Jurisdiction, and the Supreme Council, 33rd Degree, Northern Masonic Jurisdiction, were friendly enough that Grand Commander Melvin M. Johnson, 33rd Degree, extended overtures to the United Supreme Council. Sometime during the winter, we plan for a conference on ritualistic matter, if that is agreeable to you. Let me know as long ahead as you can when it will be convenient for you folks to come to Boston. There is no hurry about it, but I should very much like to have the meeting in the headquarters of our Supreme Council where we have some interesting things which you will like to see. By early 1947, a cooperative revision of the Prince Hall affiliation rituals resulted from the two Supreme Councils working together. Pantograph Printing and Stationery Company, which printed rituals for the Supreme Council, 33rd Degree, Northern Masonic Jurisdiction, agreed to print the Prince Hall Scottish Rite rituals. The quality of the revision is certainly the crowning jewel of the ritual of the United Supreme Council, as well as a testament of the cooperation between the two Supreme Councils. Thus, with our shared history in mind, we can view a thread of fraternal assistance that ultimately bound the four American Supreme Councils together in the Statement of Unity celebrated in 2022. Virtus Junxit Mos Non Separabit. Like and share this article, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you wish to comment, please leave one and, as a reminder, hit the notifications bell. Any accompanying photographs or citations for this article can be found in the corresponding print edition. The Scottish Rite Journal is published by the Supreme Council of the Scottish Rite, Southern Jurisdiction, Mother Supreme Council of the World. Mark Dreisenstock, 33rd Degree, Managing Editor. I'm your host, Matt Bowers.